In this video, we will solve a problem on how to find equilibrium price of a product when the industry demand function and individual firm's supply function is being given. This question was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of EconMaths. The question goes like this. There are 100 firms with identical cost functions. Okay, so each firm has same cost function in a perfectly competitive industry. The demand function for the industries that is the market demand function for the industry is being given as yes qd is equal to 2000 minus 200 p p denotes the price if the cost function of a firm is being given by that is total cost is equal to 200 minus 50 q plus 2 q square where q denotes the firm's output then the equilibrium price of the product is the options are being given we need to find out the correct option okay so what we are being given here we are being given the market demand function that is qd is equal to 2000 minus 200 p okay this is our market demand function okay we know the we know this very thing now uh, to find the equilibrium price we also uh, should know what is the market supply function okay so this is our market demand function market demand function demand function okay and let me draw a small graph here to make sense here quantity on the horizontal axis price on the vertical axis we are being given this market demand function okay to find the equilibrium price we should know what is the market supply function okay so we should know what is our supply function then we will be able to find out the equilibrium price since supply function is not being given here we need to construct the uh, uh, formal supply function first okay now what is the supply function in case of perfectly competitive market for a firm okay so let me write it here supply function of a firm is actually the marginal cost curve that is marginal cost is the supply curve of the firm okay let me write it here actually marginal cost is the supply supply function of a firm okay and each firm will equate its marginal cost with price okay so the condition is uh, in the perfect competition each firm will equate his price with the marginal cost okay price will be equal to the marginal cost that means first we need to find out the marginal cost okay we know that marginal cost is nothing but the derivative of total cost function with respect to output so total cost function is being given us as uh, this total cost function its derivative with respect to q will be the derivative of q will be 1 so we are left with minus 50 plus derivative of q square will be 2q so 2 into 2 is 4 simple by power function rule in uh, differentiation q so exponent will be subtracted by 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so we got mc is equal to minus 50 plus 4q as i have told you that each firm since we have the identical firms okay this uh, total cost function is the representation of 100 firms okay each firm will have the same cost function so equating price is equal to marginal cost implies okay so p let me write it here p will be equal to marginal cost is minus 50 plus 4q okay remember here that this q denotes the individual firm's uh, output okay so let us solve it for q that implies 4q will be equal to if i transpose it here it will become plus 50 uh, plus p or our q will be equal to q is equal to 50 dividing both sides by 4 plus uh, p divided by 4 okay actually this is our 
individual firm's supply function. Okay, but our equilibrium requires that market demand should be equal to market supply. This is the individual firm's supply function. Then what is the market supply? And let's denote it by market supply will be equal to since we know that number of firms, number of firms will, is equal to 100. Okay. So each firm will have this same supply function and market supply will be equal to and let me write it here. Market supply supply function will be equal to the aggregate of these hundred firm supply function that means and let me uh, write it here so market led uh, supply function let's denote it by qm okay to differentiate it with this q so market supply function will be equal to you know aggregate of individual supply functions so uh, each firm is supplying Q units and there are N firms that means market supply function will be equal to uh, number of firms that is N times the output produced by each firm that is this Q which implies so our market supply function will be equal to so N is here 100 times Q is this 50 uh, 50 divided by 4 uh, plus p divided by 4 okay or we can write it in this fashion market supply will be equal to 100 uh, 50 plus p divided by 4 which comes out to be 4 ones are 4 25 are so we will get market supply function is equal to uh, 25 25 times 50 plus p okay which comes out to be and let me be sure if i can do the calculation right here so we have zero here five five is a 25 five twos are 10 11 12 you go bash at pansa plus 25 p okay this is our market supply function so now Equilibrium requires our market demand should be equal to market supply. Market demand function is being given us as this is market demand function, this is market supply function. So we equate it, okay? And let's denote it as QS, okay? Quantity supply, that is um, quantity supply. Let's denote it by this. So quantity demanded is this, quantity supplied is this. We know that at equilibrium, demand should be equal to supply. So Q. Here we have Q, here also we have Q on the LHS. When we have same terms on the LHS, we can equate the RHS. That means demand will be equal to 2000, 2000 minus 200 P should be equal to this Bashat Pansa, Bashat Pansa plus 25 P, okay? Solving for P, so we have Zahat Toriyor, you go 225, so we have 225 uh, p is equal to 2000 minus bashat pansa this is 750 which implies p will be equal to 750 divided by 225 okay it will come out to be and i have calculated it it came out to be 3.33 and so on okay so equilibrium price in the industry will be equal to 3.33 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you